Now, in the start function, we've got our player name equals our own player name. So the name of our player is, is just player name to start with. And then on our GUI, we've got if the network is client is false. So if you're not a client, the network is part of the networking stuff with Unity as well. And network is server. So if you're not a client and you're not a server, then we want to do this. So this is basically when you start, when you first open the game, you haven't joined or created anything. And then if you haven't clicked create or join, then show the create or join button. So we've got a button there called create game and a button called find, called find game. So the create game turns create to true and the find game calls refresh host list and turns joining to true. And I'll explain that in a second. So if you press create and create turns to true, then we've got the actual create button, which is in the center. And then it also calls the start server function. And then in, inside our create screen, which is kind of everything in here, we've got our GUI label, which is our server name, our password, and our server info. And then the same here, we've also got these are text fields and pa a password field. Now, text fields are just kind of things where you just type in whatever you want, and uh, you can change it, um, the variable, which is set up the top. And then the password field is different because you have to also add this little bit here. And what this does is it converts all of the letters in, or numbers or whatever, every single uh, character into whatever you want. So I could turn turn everything into Ks if I wanted, but I'll leave it at the asterisk. And then we've got another one for the server in the vote there, which is a text area rather than a text field. So that means that it scrolls down rather than just go, is in one line, it's in m multiple lines. So, and then if we've got, then we've also got a back button which simply just turns create to false, and effectively that just turns it puts us back to here. Um, now there is a bug with this where you have to have a camera in the scene. So um, I'll explain that in a minute. But effectively, you have to have a camera in the scene, otherwise it will confuse you, and it confused me for a hell of a long time when I first started trying to create this. So if we press the join button instead, we are into this section, which ends somewhere down here. That looks about right. And then if we press joining and there is a host, so if, if host data isn't empty effectively, so the host data variable up here, then it creates the little scrolling screen. So scroll position and this scroll view thing is just that. So scroll position is the one that I said I'll explain in a minute. So that's this bit with the vector two equals vector two point zero. And then so that variable equals GUI begin scroll view. It's going off the screen a bit. And then it's a rectangle and you can create it whatever size you want. So this is the most outer size. And then that is by scroll position, the variable that I said earlier. And then inside that, at the moment I've got it set to a thousand, so you can scroll within it. You can also set it to the host data dot length times 30, because that's the difference between the lines that I've got. Um, set up here so you can copy all the numbers that I've got here or you can obviously create your own and you'll have to the, diff, the That's the gap between the lines basically so You can do one or the other uh, If you do it by this one then obviously it'll go on forever um, Depending on how much host data you have um, And if you do it by the thousand then obviously it'll only go down a certain amount of lines and then it'll just end so inside are this this box which has a scroll stuff inside it instead of doing everything by screen width we now have to do it by basic numbers we could do it by screen width but it'll be a bit more confusing because it's not actually the of the point at the top left hand corner of the screen it's actually of the top left hand corner of the scroll view so we've got the GUI label and that is the game name and then we've got server info play account and password so when we joined the server, it had all those titles at the top, which is those. And then this bit's quite a nice little bit where effectively every single host that we have, every, every host that the game that the game finds when it when we when we press join in, if it's found a host, then depending on how many hosts there are, it'll go through, keep going through this. And what it'll do is, I don't think I've explained for loops before. For every host data, so if the if the length of host data, so because because that is a, an array here, for for every single one inside that array, 
uh, we add one to the i, which is a variable that we call here, which initially is zero. And if the one that we're on at the moment is less than the total length, then we add another one and call this. So for the host data that we're on at the moment, so say if the, we're on the first host that we find, the first host, that one's game name, which is set when you, when you create the game, and then the first host's comment and the first host's amount of players. And then I've also got plus um, a slash with the player limit. So connected dot connected players is, in, is part of the host data with a capital H actually, but it's part of the host data. And then so is player limit as well and comment. And then we've got if the host data is password protected. If you don't enter a password at all, then it won't password protect it. But if you do, then it will. So if it is password protected, then show the password field, otherwise don't. And then also we've got the join button at the end, which it'll enter the password that you've entered as the client pass, which is here. So whatever you've entered into this password field, and then also uh, all the data from the host that we've got here. Um, and then it ends it. And then if the host data, if there isn't any host data, so right from right at the start, if we're joining, but there isn't a host, then it shows no games found and it, it did pop up very very briefly because it takes a little while to find the hosts so it has no games found and then it has a, bu has a button to refresh and then it will refresh host lists just like we did uh, here when we actually pressed find game um, and I'll, we'll get to that bit in a minute but it's that's a, that's a function further down um, and then if we press back then joining is false and it takes us back just like the back in the create section and then we also constantly this is outside of everything constantly we've got this quit button so if we press quit then application.quit which effectively just quits the game um, you can put that on any menus you want just to be able to exit the build but it won't be it won't exit the game on the editor 